Good morning everybody, how are you? So this is my take on the cryptos and uh, I've not done a blinder so far, I'm still finding my way and I think I've missed a few opportunities and missed a few points of defense but I've learned from it. So this is my take. Um, the altcoins were the wrong place probably to be um, over the last week or so even though there are some of them have had a bump we had a nice bump on burst and a few others but what has been going on is we have been underestimating the effect on all the coins of the two majors um, so Bitcoin is in a little bit of a either or kind of polarity situation it's either going to set up in continuation and go higher and that would look something like this at some point although this looks like it's got another dip down in it but at some point it would need to get a really strong second impulse up roughly to this very low volatility squeeze period where we capitulated from and at least get back up and take back that line for a short while it doesn't have to stay there forever and then have a very moderated and relaxed pullback and then once again go up uh, and then that would set up a potential continuation up move where we would have a nice little squeeze here um, and you could go up. The risk side that I've drawn is the left shoulder head and right shoulder um, and we've had we had a very strong throw down there as you probably recall and that was possibly a warning where this may have even been the first warning because we went into a very grind uppy kind of move I wasn't super comfortable with how this was going up and it was what we call a marginally higher high so it comes from a lot higher up in the space it came from here and then grinded most of its way and just went marginally higher than the previous high which was over there while this was parabolic from a lot lower down um, and can remind you of that just with a little bit of a drag of the cursor um, so it was showing signs of exhaustion Have it, has it had enough did it let off some of its seller steam in here has it had enough not sure I am biasing to concern here so how do I do that um, are we gonna go Fibonacci this rebound rally from that low has come too low for me by touching the red level and I will show you why I say that and I'll show you an example where we've already had a rerun in other words my concern is this is going to turn into a sell-off and that could lead into a head and shoulders uh, type sell-off which could be a top for a reasonable period so ICOs are they a great buy now for a couple of weeks time or in the next month or so I would say it's quite high risk season now on the the cryptos if this sees a Bitcoin move that runs into this red zone and later tests this 2000 uh, mark. This is Tether on Polynex that I'm looking at. This level will be different depending on what exchange you look at. Some of them it's 2100, 2200. You do get slight variations. Um, so take a look at it also on Bitcoin versus the dollar. Anyway, so um, I have a, a, a fear that that could be a bit dangerous for the crypto category as a whole. Um, the one that's been the biggest concern, though, um, has been Ethereum. Ethereum has been a real issue. This is Ethereum against the euro. So I'm just mixing the currencies up a bit on Kraken. And um, you can see here that it's had uh, a, a melt up really melt up this is against the euro so it's not the dollar identical I will do the dollar as well ignore that uh, crack and spike link this was continuation up that was continuation up this funnel here has been run on the downside and 
that had a little bit of reversal structure in it and we were saying mm, don't like it don't like it and it only for it to continue on further upwards um, and it's sitting on that key level of 225 I think it is is it 225 230 there um, that's been run to the downside that's bearish um, and we have in fact spiked through the continuation pattern below it as well I think there's further to come in terms of HVF theory very convex rounded top not bullish very convex and very deep slung pullback and then that rally for the high two low three high three low three and we were at just trying to hold the 300 mark you can see that's literally just 295 and your 300 mark was up here you couldn't run it on your h2 that's on the euro by the way we will go back to the dollar um, and this smacks like it isn't bottoming I'm afraid um, continuation another jab down and um, so Ethereum is jabbing down and Bitcoin is looking ropey I think it's a bad time to be in most cryptos it's a bad time to be buying ICOs I say that having already committed to two um, so I won't commit to any further just yet even if they're awesome they could sell off hard on the listing um, the listing the opening day of trading you can maybe get them post listing for a lot less so there's possibly some froth around that has been shaken off here let's just look at ethereum versus bitcoin as well done a few charts on that we have a similar thing here was ethereum first set up in a new trend going to overperform first set up overperforms sets up again after making this target overperforms in fact I did a diagram for that just pull it up this is all your upsides and your funnel levels on the way up so this is ethereum versus bitcoin just get this side of the chart uh, showing here um, and up 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 nice and strong pull back after the target very compliant to HVF theory nice and strong pull back then you got another continuation actually setting up so you can actually draw that it was quite a nice little continuation up she goes and then there was a warning very convex trying to hold the high line at 14s first set up in a new trend break runs the downside target confluence with the upside target before look how it runs straight through the middle of this setup winds up again runs that target and undoes the second interim there so quite clustery here of levels and then is into the funnel level with a bounce stalling at this cluster of levels the target downside here and the second interim of the upside on the other other on the way up um, these kind of things this is not bottoming we aren't getting rounded bottoming we're getting trying to hold a level that would point and I've just done a guesstimation little down leg to the next another leg down here which could challenge so Ethereum is looking weak Ethereum is kind of the king of the altcoins um, and Bitcoin is the crypto uh, king generally um, from the, the way I've understood things so this is this is quite bearish um, in my view for altcoins ICOs pretty bearish for Bitcoin and still bearish for Ethereum so the long only game um, could see us uh, you know could see you get caught out and be very very careful uh, I took a bit of burst and it ran beautifully but then I gave it uh, most of it all back um, and then eventually saw this downside set up didn't want any more downside it made it ran that target and then spat up this has been one of the strongest relative to um, Ethereum in terms of reaction most of the others have run new lows with uh, the Ethereum and if you just check your coin market cap um, and you see for your last few days you can see that most have been bearish um, now this is actually the best it's been in a while but most are still bearish there are a few that are minor up against the dollar now and you've got and shares but we've actually had the top 30 all be red um, as the 24 hours have rolled we've actually had small amount of recovery that's because ethereum stopped going down even against bitcoin 
most have, are, are red. So Bitcoin's been the defensive place. Again, a few notable exceptions. And it's largely been 100% red before, while you're seeing a little bit on Zcash here, uh, etc. So um, with fiat. Now, what? just a bit of a sidebar on fiat. When you get these transition phases, normally you should just be looking at crypto versus crypto to see where the relative strength is. But because um, we're in this point where the whole crypto category could be relatively weak, and we've looked at Bitcoin USD just as a reminder here, I was showing you, so if we go back to the Ethereum, and I was, th this is a point I was looking to make, this was a really deep pull. Um, and with a rounded top, I have a fear that we have something quite similar on the Bitcoin. So if you do it like that, this is against the euro so it's not exactly like for like um, you can see we dip into the red there and that sets up the inverted and it's a very convex top which ties in a lot with what's happening here very convex top dipping into the red so a little bit worried let's do that same ethereum chart with the when I say worried it's just you make you cut your cloth for for that particular set of conditions my regret is I should have been short Ethereum it was a very would have been a very uncomfortable trade to have put on because there's so many bulls that at this during this period um, but now it's too late to chase but once again if we just look at Ethereum versus the dollar if we put the same fib on the convex top is Ethereum just a few steps ahead of where bet Bitcoin may still be so there was that possible trend changing move here's your rally really strong on Ethereum rally higher than Bitcoin but then turn there's that dip into the red just at the top of the red and then there's your setup bang you sell it on the 50% fib and it was down 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 to the downside um, so very very similar and, and and you can see the same structure here this is your, your setup with uh, overperformance and these are big big targets on them you can see on the dollars it was the 330 mark it was littered out there it just wasn't being allowed um, beyond went really low vol and spilled So my concern here is that the altcoins could have a difficult time. If Ethereum and Bitcoin are having a difficult time, ICOs may have a difficult time. Um, this may be time for defense. It may be time for defense. It's not what people want to hear, um, but it's preservational. Those that are HODL, you've got to make sure how HODL, how committed you are to HODL. But you don't want to HODL for a while, take a big loss, and then eventually can't hold anymore and get out, and then it rallies thereafter. You're either HODLing, or you're active, you've got to make up your mind. Um, and if you're hodling, you've got to sign up for the full experience that you may get, which could be, um, you know, a sustained sell-off for a while in the crypto space. Um, that doesn't mean that has to happen. And it's not what I'm predicting. I'm not predicting much. I'm just saying that this is, it's not what I do. On probability though, there's continuation down. There's still a downside target to be made on the Ethereum dollar and that will run that setup on the way uh, down to that funnel level so it's a logical place for it to rally it hasn't made this yet and I would say on balance of probabilities we would expect it to make that level so there's that funnel literally confluencing with the target this is the magic thing about geometry and the HVF method literally conferencing with the target. You won't be able to watch this and know how to do HVF theory. You need a course on a program. There's too much to it. Um, but you can see there's a target down to this level. So a little dip through and a churn, you might get a little bit of a rally. And everyone will get back on the buy train if we then get a little bit of a rally after dipping through here. And that can be a little bit of a fake. It can go straight back then down and churn and wind up again for more downside so when you get a first setup in a new trend you never know when it's ended until you've had some proper reversals and a proper downside pattern start failing 
and you're never going to get the first five percent of that move and people will be quick to say it's all buy 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 again and you're running in here and then you could get in your next setup to the downside again so that's the take and i think it's going to have an effect on the likes of all the other alts um, i was particularly interested in this one which has the you know the green profile of mining um, it's shown relative strength first so i uh, did like it we did also look at size coin um, but that uh, was interestingly saved literally on its um, funnel So on Sizecoin, what we liked about it is that there is a big setup here that's been going for a while. You know, this date is way back at May. And so we have that as a low three and it literally has stood on that mark and supported, which is uncanny, but it's come all the way back down so you know will this target be made still or is this did this sudden um, bear after ethereum maybe just running a little bit ahead of itself um, put an end to the chance of these guys making it this pattern here in a shorter time frame that certainly failed with the beginning of the sell-off move But if this level stands here, we could just wind up again. So if we if we get some strength out of Ethereum and Bitcoin and the downside, we could get this just give a shut up. So ignore all of these lines for now. I should have cleaned that. Um, but this could just be an impulse with a sell off and it's stood. But you know, on balance of probabilities, I'd say no. There's a risk you get a shoulder head and then you get a, a, a rally here for a right shoulder and you roll over um, so the Bitcoin and the Ethereum situation is a concern and there's no way to look past it so this is my take um, a ponderous clip about uh, cryptos about playing defense um, and a little run past a little bit on the fiat so gold I really don't like gold here this is chopping up and chopping and then a little bit of a think here I'm not a big fan of this it could go this looks like it wants to go a little bit higher but it doesn't necessarily have to take this that's a marginally higher high after that being a properly big high i think these tops are coming down i think it could be rounding top here um so you could go up short term but then more medium term there's a there's a sell off coming um could go up short term here f fail to make a new high and then start making the first of lower lows um, that's how it looks uh, to me on gold and silver is worse he set up so that will tie in with gold a rally first then a comeback and then a, a deeper move down so silver is the high beta version and I even did um, WTI it's not the most uh, crypto relevant uh, item but it is a dollar relevant item along with silver and gold and um, when I look at that and ask is there any sign of dollar we weakness against any of the traditional things if we go uh, crude oil um, I don't like the crude oil chart as well either all point to a little bit of uh, dollar strength yes it's up there but that's on a short time frame we go to the daily and just to put in context for you the weekly this is a little rounded top it's having a rally after a bit of a sell-off but this is not good price structure generally so sure you get a rally up you can go all the way up to 48 for all I care um, overall this price structure is poor it points to dollar weakness stroke dollar uh, my apologies oil weakness stroke dollar strength potentially we've got silver looking sick against the dollar um, which we don't like we don't like the gold, the gold particularly all of which have got space first for a rally which ties in also with Ethereum um, having a little bit of a rally first off these levels and then having a, a knockdown um, so overall not, um, not too excited about how the market set up for crypto and possibly a bit of fiat strength last person who wants to be in the fiat 
but be careful out there on the cryptos that's my take quite a long clip um, but you want to make the case you've got to try and make it correctly and I will be watching more closely in future when I get into the alts um, the relative performance of Ethereum to Fiat, um, Bitcoin to Fiat and Ethereum to Bitcoin as well. Um, I think I made, uh, I've learned a lesson there. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, trade small, trade well. If you want to learn more about how you analyze like this, get in touch, support at the Market Sniper or go to themarketsniper.com and book in for a chat. Speak to you then.